Hey guys, what is good? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now today we're doing something a little bit different. We've got uh, a little bit of a task set. Uh, so basically, if I uh, just whack them out, what's on the agenda today is I'm going to attempt to take these factory laces off. So all of the new Yeezys have this kind of lace lock system where you can't replace them, you just have to snip them off. Well, I'm, I'm gonna try and work around that, right? I'm gonna see if there's a way to take these off, swap them out with the spare laces that you get in the box, see if we can maybe replace the laces, but at the same time have the option of going back to this. Uh, I know some people are a fan of it. To be honest, I'm quite a fan. I think it looks pretty clean. But at the same time, I do want to, you know, swap them out. I want to go untied sometimes with the laces kind of hanging out. And sometimes I want to go with this cleaner look. Uh, we'll get this one out of the way. We'll start with this. So pretty much you can see this. There's a little rubber sleeve that hides the, the stitched together laces. So if I pull that to the side, that's what you get. Right, so this is what you need. It's a little stitch ripper. So basically it's just a tiny little thing that you can kind of wiggle within the stitch uh, and it just cuts it off. What I'm gonna do is quickly just remove the stitching on here. See how easy it is. Um, God damn it. It might be worth it. Damn, this is stuck. There we go. All right, I think we're making progress. So pretty much, there's no way of salvaging that sheath. Uh, like you've got to cut it open. So right now I have it kind of split. If you can see there, it's literally, I just had to split it right down the middle because it's basically joined together. These two laces, and uh, they do have an aglet. So they do have that plastic end bit that you see on normal laces. It's just glued and sewn and it is just stuck. There might only be one thing to do here. And that is get the scissors out. Right, we've got somewhere, we've actually got them apart. This is way more hassle than I thought it was going to be. So now you can remove the little plastic sheath thing, the little rubber thing that uh, holds it or covers it. But now you can see at the end of this, you've just got a bunch of leftover kind of glue that's stuck around each of the aglets. That ain't happening. This is ridiculous. What the hell? Right, there we go. So we have got them off. Here they are. Very stretchy. Like, look at this. Super, super stretchy. Um, so now if you look at the ends, they look completely messed up. Like, all over. What they've done is they've glued it, they've sewed it ridiculously. Like, that is definitely with a machine. That's not something you can do with your hand. And also, this is hard. Like the end of this is like the same. It's either got a lot of glue in it or a lot of plastic, uh, which means that you couldn't penetrate it with a regular little needle, especially not with your hand. This, this looks pretty cool without any laces in, you know? I think that looks pretty wavy. But let's chuck the other laces in. Let's make sure that I've made the right decision. There we go. They are laced up. And I think that looks, it looks better. Looks pretty clean. I like it when it has laces. Right, so I was just about to give up, but I thought of one last, one last final option. So what we're gonna do is essentially, we've got some scissors and we're gonna cut off these two bits. Now, if we can cut off these two scruffy bits, then maybe we could stitch it back together. So I'm gonna cut as close to it as possible, trying not to fray it too much, you know, try to keep the cut as clean as possible. And you know what would help? is if I had some bloody sharp scissors. Hey, we might be doing this, man. We've got our white thread and we're gonna stitch this back together. So I'm just gonna do a, a proof of concept, right? Like this. So you take your, your little sheath plastic thing, slide that in there. This is such a bizarre video. Boom, we are in it, man. Look at that, we did it. Now, what I would do is I, is I would get super glue and just put it all over here to really, really bind it. Wow, look at that. We did it. That is a loop. And now obviously that's, I mean, that's pretty, that's not going anywhere. That will stay on. This is a real way to work around the infinity loop lacing system. Just cut this super, super close. So literally cut it right here and right there take this off so I'll show you make sure you cut it there we go 
and cut this right there. There we go. That's what you cut off. So I'm saying hypothetically, if you went for this style lacing option and you're trying to go back to the infinity loop lacing system, just keep this, cut it off like this, undo it, take the laces off. And then when you want to go back, relace it in this, you got to tighten it up just a tiny bit, but that's all the overlap you need. That is it. Look at that. I'll show you again here. That is all the overlap you need to stitch it in. So then just make sure that this is on. Trust me, do not do all of this and then find out that this is sat off to the side and you've just stitched it together. Okay. Make sure you have this rubber bit on the end. So we're going to slide that in, right? And then you stitch it back together. There we go. Right. <clears throat> Look at that. That is tough. There we go. Back in. Wablam, son. Look at that. No change. You would not even notice if I didn't tell you, if you didn't see. Look at that. Pull it tight. 100%. Man, actually, that's so crazy. I just figured that out. That took me like five minutes. What I, what I did with this stitching thing, don't do that, okay? To recap, all you need to do is cut on either side of this and then restitch it back together. That's all you need to do. We got it. That is the only way you can take this off without ruining it. Yes, you've got to cut. You've got to cut it off, but you can always go back to this style. However you want to do it, just make sure you keep a hold of it and follow the steps in this video. Hey, we figured this out together, guys. But either way, whether you want to rock them like this or rock them like this. Thank you so much for coming through, watching the video, hanging out with me, and of course, liking, commenting, and subscribing. I will catch you guys in the next one. But until then.